that's why I think I'm down in the night. I'm the only son of my past, but I got my head on my head. What's up? Today I'm going to teach you how to save. The cross crease play, and the reason I'm making another video is because some things have changed with the tuner update, and that happened back September 28th, I think. It's now better to move around in your precision movement while standing to save basic one-timers from the point in the slot. Precision movement got a speed boost, which has made it easier for us to save regular one-timers. It still requires proper positioning and for us to think through the saves, so don't expect to be wildly out of position and make saves. Let's talk about our positioning. You need to know when you can afford to lose some depth. Being deeper in your net creates a shorter distance to travel when moving side to side. If you're too far out of your net, you're going to get beat by a one-timer easily. If you're too deep, you'll get easily beat on the sides of your net. Knowing when to lose depth and how much you should back up depends on where the puck carrier is, where the opponents are, and where your defense is. Sometimes you're just going to have to challenge the puck carrier and hope your defense bails you out, or you're going to have to make a desperation save. Let's talk about making the save. Once the pass is made, you are now fully committed to getting some part of your body on that puck. I use the left stick in precision movement to move into a save, and I do this for three reasons. One, the tuner update made it faster, and the acceleration of the movement is faster than a butterfly slide. Two, the T push makes your goalie turn at a weird angle, and it's very inconsistent. Three, if there's no shot on the pass, I'm still in full control of my goalie and can get ready for a pass somewhere else. I stay standing when the shot is coming from above the circles, but any lower than that, I will do a butterfly side using the left stick and the trigger or a desperation save. I do not touch the right stick because the animation is too slow to get yourself moving for one timers. If you see guys making saves with the right stick, it's either because they guessed right or the shot came from a long way away. There are times to use this, but I'll dedicate a whole video to that later. If you do make a regular butterfly slide, make sure you hit the left stick to one side or the other first, and then you can hit the trigger, or else you'll just drop to your knees and get stuck and you won't move anywhere. Now let's talk about desperation saves. There are times to use these and they will bail your team out of a bad situation. I play with my right thumb completely off of the right stick. It's always hovering over square just in case I need it. I use the dive, which is square or X on the Xbox, in left or right on the left stick when I know I won't be able to get over to the pass fast enough. It can be useful when the puck here waits to see if you move out of the way and then passes it because you can't cheat on this play or else you'll shoot and score. Now it can be effective on 2 and O's as well as the spread eagle save, but honestly, at that point, your team has messed up so bad that whatever you do in that situation is going to be a good enough effort anyway. So some guidelines to follow. The first is you shouldn't cheat. Don't start sliding to cover the open man if the puck carrier is still waiting you out. Good players are going to beat you all day on that. If the puck carrier has enough time to just hold the puck near the slot and wait you out, you have to take the shot. He shouldn't have that much time in the first place, but defense isn't perfect. But if he does, get ready to react to the pass with whatever the situation calls for. So that may mean diving or it just may mean recentering yourself. Who knows? The second thing is that some cross crease goals are your fault. And some aren't. There are certain plays like point shots and shots from the high slot that I think a goalie should stop 90% of the time. Obviously, there are things that are out of your control, and if your defense is just hanging you out to dry, there's nothing you can do. The third is that you need to know when it's acceptable to use the diving desperation save, because using it too much will result in a lot of easy goals for the other team. It takes experience to know the right time to do it. I started using it when I realized there were some plays that no matter what movement I did, I wouldn't get to the puck in time, and then I started diving and making saves about 50% of the time on those shots, which is better than 100%. That's it for this tips video, guys. 
Thanks for tuning in. If I helped you out, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and shared the video with your friends. The next tip video will be on breakaways. I know we've been blue balling you on that a little bit. You've been you've been waiting a little while, but as I said in my last video, I'm making sure I'm, I'm everything I'm telling you is 100% correct. Have a good one, fellas.